Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about how to get the best detail out of your image on a smartphone. When we talk about detail in an image, we're actually referring to dynamic range. Put simply, the dynamic range is the range between the black is black and the white is white in your image. This is generally expressed in exposure values, often called stops. Dynamic range is the camera sensor's ability to see how far it can look into the shadows and how far it can look into the highlights before it loses detail. The human eye can see between 14 to 20 stops of dynamic range depending on person to person. High-end cinema cameras can capture between 14 to 16 stops of dynamic range. Full frame and super 35mm sensors offer dynamic range that varies and shifts with the ISO of the camera and this peaks well past the base or lowest ISO of that device. This is a characteristic not shared by smartphone camera sensors. The smartphone camera sensors ISO performance peaks on its lowest ISO and then falls off rapidly from there. The total dynamic range of the sensor will be much less than that you can get from a mirrorless, a DSLR or a cinema camera. Currently even high-end smartphone cameras like the iPhone 11 Pro Max can capture no more than 10 stops of usable dynamic range without the aid of multi-sample compositing like HDR. The dynamic range capability of the camera depends on the model of smartphone that you have. You cannot add dynamic range that the device isn't capable of. Third-party applications like Filmic Pro have been designed to help you maximize the available dynamic range of the image buffer of your phone. They help facilitate higher latitudes so you can safely underexpose and overexpose to a certain extent and still preserve recoverable detail in that shadow or highlight. They do this by allowing you to choose a flat or log color profile. Next, I'm going to give you a few examples of some shooting situations you might find yourself in. And we're going to talk about how you can bring the contrast ratio of that scene into the range of what your cell phone camera is capable of. This type of work is traditionally done with a light meter, but if you don't have one, don't worry. I'll also talk about how you can use built-in functions of Filmic Pro to do the same. Here we have an example of a low dynamic range scene, meaning that all the elements in the frame are quite evenly exposed and no parts are exceptionally light or dark. When you're shooting a scene like this on your smartphone and you want to try and maximize the total dynamic range in a low dynamic range scene like this, metering the indirect ambient light against an 18% gray card would be a good first step. If you don't have a gray card, just aim for an average exposure. It is also advisable to slightly underexpose to help protect your highlights. This approach will work equally well for interiors or exterior scenes. On the opposite side of the spectrum, here we have an example of a very high dynamic range scene where the conditions are mixed between having very bright spots and other parts being completely covered in shadows and little highlights in between as well. In a high dynamic range scene, you might want to grab a spot meter and try and determine what the total dynamic range of the scene is by taking a reading from the darkest part of the scene and then from the brightest part of the scene and working out the contrast ratio. If the scene exceeds the dynamic range capability of your device, or a good rule of thumb would be anything more than 10 stops of dynamic range, you are going to want to shape or control the light in that scene if you want to shoot on a smartphone sensor. In exterior scenes where there's no movement, you could use a graduated ND filter to help compensate for a blown out sky. If the scene is too dark, you can bring in your own light sources or use exterior windows and mirrors, and then use the same techniques you would as if you were shooting in a studio. For interior locations, if there are any devices with bright screens in the scene, like televisions, turn them down to their lowest brightness level and also turn down the saturation. For light bulbs or lighting fixtures that are overexposing, try and replace them with the lowest lumen level bulb you can find. To manage practical light sources like lamps, um, lampshades are quite effective just to bring down the brightness slightly. Neutral density wrap can also be very useful. You can cut out a piece in the size of the screen that is overexposing and then lay it over that light source or wrap it around bulbs to bring down their brightness into a range that's usable for you. Once you've tamed these light sources, you can come in with your light meter and take in an ambient light measurement to see if the contrast has come into a range that your smartphone sensor can handle. If you don't have a light meter, it's not really a problem. 
Filmic Pro has built-in false color, which you can use to see which light sources are overexposing and which shadows are too dark. In scenes that contain a medium amount of dynamic range, such as this example, the best approach is to expose for the skin tones. If you're exposing for the skin tones and you fi find that it's required for you to underexpose um, where your blacks are almost crashing, Filmic Pro allows you the ability to adjust your black point so you can raise it slightly. Please use this approach very sparingly as it can cause shifts of color, um, hue and tone in your image. So remember when you're trying to get the best image out of a smartphone camera, don't try and make the device do things it's not designed to do, but rather try and bring elements of the frame inside the range of the phone's capability. That means taming light sources, sometimes taking light away, uh, flagging or blocking off light coming from different angles. And always be sure to make sure that your exposure on the character's faces are as good as possible. I hope this video was useful and you now have a better understanding of how to maximize the dynamic range of your smartphone camera and be able to capture as much detail as possible.